<sighs> What's up guys? This title race is gonna give me a fucking heart attack. Guys, I'm currently at work, but I'm done with whatever I had to do. And I got enough time to watch the game. When I saw the lineup with company in the lineup, I made a snap on YouTube and I said, every time company is in the lineup, we don't lose. And guess what? Mr. Vincent Company. Vincent Company. Could anyone have, could have guessed this? Vincent Company scored the game's winner. The only goal. Wow. Let me catch my breath here. Because, guys, when that goal was scored, oh, I was screaming so much. I never celebrated like that for any goal before. It was a really, really important goal. The title hopes lie on that very goal by Vincent Company. Man City wins the game one goal to nil. We dominated this game. We dominated every aspect of this game. But somehow, we couldn't beat Schmeichel before Vincent Company did. Aguero's header onto the post. Saved off the line by Schmeichel. And then, another shot by Aguero. Reflex saved by Schmeichel again. And no, guys, Schmeichel was a former Man City player. But, it took a special strike from Vincent Company. To beat him. What a fucking goal in the V. Postage stamp. Like the epitome of a postage stamp goal. Company. The captain. The man who has been at the club the longest. Wow. His contract ends at the end of the season. They have to sign him again. His role has been pivotal in City winning, well, potentially winning this Premier League title, back-to-back -back titles. Because he has played the last few games he has started, and he has done a really, really good job at center half, like he has done over the years. And he deserves this because he has been injured for most of his career, and he came up with the goods today. You thought it would have been Raheem Sterling. You thought it would have been Bernardo Silva or David Silva, Ilkay Gundogan, or Sergio Aguero like he always does. But no, it's Vincent Company, man. Pep Guardiola, Pep Guardiola must be a happy man. All the Manchester City fans must be happy people. You know who won't be happy about this? The Liverpool supporters, the Liverpool eleven. Their bench, their backup brigade, and Jurgen Klopp. Because they have been absolutely amazing this season. Equally as good as Manchester City. They do not, guys. They do not deserve to come second. But when you have City playing this way, that's what's exactly going to happen. Unless, unless there's a disaster at Brighton on the final match day. Liverpool, they play Wolves. And I did predict Wolves to beat Liverpool at Anfield. It doesn't happen very often, but I predicted something like that to happen. It could happen with all the injuries that Liverpool are suffering right now. Plus, they have their Champions League semi-final second leg versus Barcelona. If they lose that, who knows? What effect it could, it could have on the players But Liverpool will not relent They will go to the final match day And they will play their hearts out And they will possibly win their game But this City team They're going to win 14 in a row And they're going to go on to win their second consecutive Premier League title The team has been amazing and if they do win versus Brighton, it means that the team would go on to pick up 198 points across two seasons. Tell me another team that has done that 
in the history of football. Tell me, I'm waiting. But it was an absolutely phenomenal performance by the boys, man. They never give up. They just kept fighting, 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 fighting. You have to, you know, take your hats off to Leicester City as well for their resilience, keeping us out. But I knew we would break Leicester down. I knew we would break Leicester down. I also like to say thank you very much for former Manchester City player Kaliche Ihianacho, man. What a sitter he had at the end there, and he put it wide. Thank you very much, Mr. Ian Nacho. Man City still has a buyback clause for him. We won't be buying him back for sure, because his form has plummeted since he went to Leicester. He was a pretty decent goal scorer at Man City, but at Leicester, shadow of his former self. Riyad Mahrez, the former Leicester City player, did not feature in this game. Maybe, thank God, because who knows... Could have screwed it up for us, but it didn't happen. So let me not assume that it would have happened. But guys, you know these silly things happen in the game. But it was a really, really good effort by Manchester City. And it paid off by us winning the game one goal to nil. Guys, adrenaline is pumping through my body right now. You could see the happiness in my face. I'm really, really, really overjoyed man this victory is big everyone doubted us everyone wants every single everyone wants us to lose they all wants us to lose once you're not a man city fan they want us to fail they thought we were gonna lose against tottenham they thought we were gonna lose against man united they thought we were gonna lose against burnley or drop points and they swore leicester would have beaten us but it is a city that has won every single one of those fixtures. And there's one team that's standing away to win the Premier League title. And that's Brighton, who has just survived the Premier League um, drop. So they have nothing to play for. So who knows? Who knows? They may come out, rest players, key players, and get steamrolled. But fingers crossed, we have to wait until the final whistle this coming weekend. May 12th, and we will know who will be the Premier League champions. I'm going for City, of course. Who are you going for? Don't sell Liverpool. If you sell Liverpool, you are one hopeful sucker. But guys, I'm your boy Dominic Rich. I just wanted to give my thoughts on the game. I think the refereeing was a little sketchy by Mike Dean. Don't want to see him in City games at all. But... Apart from that, it was a pretty exciting game, man. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I don't care about any other thing that happened in the game. All I care about is that Vincent Company scored a magnificent goal. That has to be one of the goals of the season, man. Has to be one of the goals of the season. And we are poised to win the Premier League title. Guys, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. I'm at work right now. I'll come back later to talk about the whole Premier League title race. But until next time, man, peace out. Right? Squat!